Friends, Lent is a time of purifying our old self of vice and of sin. It's a time of cleaning. And what's the one thing we all use for cleaning? Both, say, our cars, our homes, and even ourselves. Water, of course. Water is fundamental to our lives and sustains our very existence. And it also keeps us clean. Water gets rid of all the dirt and all the grime. At the same time, it nourishes our bodies. And water is a major theme in God's holy word this Sunday, particularly in our first and our second readings. In the book of Genesis, we are drawn into the story of Noah and the great flood, where God, he uses water to rid the earth of those who cling themselves to the ways of evil. At the same time, he enables Noah to build an ark to save his family and all the animals. So God, friends, he's using water here to both to destroy and to save. But then God promises that he will never again use water to destroy, as he says, things of flesh. And that's key here. And then we're catapulted right to the second reading where St. Paul, he speaks about how God uses water to save. And not only does God adhere to his promise not to destroy flesh by water, God now elevates the dignity of water as a fundamental component of salvation. And this is the moment, friends, where the priest or the deacon uses the words, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, at the same time pours water over you. It's a moment of salvation and grace where you and I, we become adopted children of God, the Father. At that moment, the waters of baptism, they destroy the grip of evil through original sin, which we all inherit whether we like it or not, and at the same time saves and raises us up, enhances our dignity as a child of God. It's really beautiful. And friends, because God sanctifies water, through it, we too are sanctified. Water has its dignity elevated and so do we. Through water, you and I, we are made new into a new creation. It's why, for example, we place, say, a white shawl around a baby when he or she is baptized to symbolize the reality that child has now become a new creation, clothed in the whiteness, in the cleanliness of Christ, all because of the holy water of baptism. Friends, my point here is that God, he makes all things new. Uh, he elevates and he enhances the dignity of all who are sanctified. And in a unique and beautiful way, he does that through the waters of baptism. God's promise to Noah still to this day holds true. Water does not destroy flesh, but it does wash away sin and evil, like I said. The water is made holy and washes us, cleans us of the things and the ways that are unholy, things and ways that are not of God. And then it's you and I, our job, to do our best to adhere to this new way of life. But as we know, that is not easy, especially in this world. The beauty and the freedom we receive at baptism um, and it's called to place God front and center can be easily cast aside by the pressures of this world of corruption, sin and vice. And if we're not careful, that sin and vice, it can overtake us. That is why at the beginning of every single mass, we seek God to wash us of our sins once again, seeking his love and his mercy to wash us clean once again. And in a very particular way, we receive that washing to the sacrament of confession, okay? A moment where once again, our lives are kind of put back on track. We gain, regain, I should say, the freedom of our baptism from vice and sin. We renew the cleansing waters of our baptism, essentially. And friends, by doing our best to live a life worthy of our baptism and calling, by putting God front and center to what you and I do in life, we gain the strength, the courage, and the perseverance to live out the call of Christ in the gospel today, to repent, to really repent from all our sins and vice, and to begin to truly believe in the good news. And the good news, friends, 
is Jesus Christ himself. That he is the only saviour, the one that can only and truly save us and make us new. Friends, use this time of Lent to go to confession, to make an extra effort at prayer in your home with your family, and to use a sacramental of holy water to bless and to cleanse both your home and yourselves. And I encourage you to renew the saving waters of baptism 